You've heard of the God Particle, right? The one that gives mass to everything in the universe? Well, forget about that. There's a new particle in town, and it's way cooler. It's called the Sun Goddess Particle, and it has an energy level one million times greater than anything we can create on Earth. But what is this particle, and where did it come from? And how can it blow your mind? In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about this amazing discovery. But before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on the awesome content we have in store for you. We're pretty good at what we do, if we do say so ourselves. But hey, we don't want to sound too cocky, so let's just get on with the show. Here we go. First of all, let me ask you a question. What? Have you ever wondered what's out there in the vastness of space? Well, some people do, and they have built a giant cosmic ray catcher in the middle of the desert to find out. You know, cosmic rays are like supercharged space bullets that zoom across the universe with crazy amounts of energy. Some of them are so powerful that they can smash through the Earth's air shield and make a bunch of other particles rain down. The cosmic ray catcher Alright, I admit it, I made up the name Cosmic Ray Catcher because it sounds awesome. But let's get serious and call it by its proper name. Telescope Array Experiment can spot these particle showers and figure out where they came from and how much energy they had. And guess what? On May 27th, 2021, they found something amazing. A particle that was so energetic that it could only come from a sun goddess. Well, not really, but that's why they nicknamed it. The Sun Goddess Particle was the most energetic cosmic ray ever detected, and it might reveal some secrets about the origin of the universe. Now, cosmic rays are not uncommon. They're constantly bombarding the Earth from all directions, but most of them are pretty boring. They have low energy and they don't do much except give you a tan or a headache. But sometimes a cosmic ray with a super high energy shows up, and that's when things get wild. These are called ultra-high energy cosmic rays, or UHECRs, and they are the bad boys of the particle world. They have energies above 10 to the power 18 electron volts, or EEV, which is like the energy of a tennis ball going really fast. Like really fast. Like faster than your ex running away from commitment. That's impressive, right? But hold on, there's more. The Sun Goddess particle is not just any UHECR. It's the most badass UHECR ever seen by the Telescope Array experiment. It has an energy of 224 EEV, which is 1 million times more than what the Large Hadron Collider, the biggest and coolest machine on the Earth, can make. To put that in perspective, it's like the energy of a bowling ball going at the speed of light. Well, almost the speed of light. Now you might be wondering, how the heck did a particle get so much energy? And where did it come from? Well, that's the big mystery. And the answer is, we don't know. The scientists who found the Sun Goddess particle were so stunned and confused by it that they first thought it was a glitch or a prank. But after double checking the data, they realized it was legit. They had stumbled upon a new puzzle in science and they named it Amaterasu, after the Sun Goddess who is supposed to have made Japan in the Shinto religion. But why Amaterasu? Well, because the particle came from the direction of the sun. Or at least from the same spot in the sky where the sun was hanging out at the time of the detection. But that doesn't mean the particle came from the sun itself. In fact, that's very unlikely. Because the sun is not strong enough to make such a particle. And even if it did, the particle would have been pushed away by the sun's magnetic field and would not have made it to the earth. So the sun is not the daddy of the sun goddess particle. But then who is? Well, there are a bunch of wild guesses, but none of them are winning any awards for convincing theories. One idea is that this particle got a turbo boost from some cosmic event like a gamma ray burst, a supernova explosion, or a jet from a supermassive black hole. Now you might ask, what the heck? Jet from a black hole? Okay, guys, let me explain. You know, black holes are like... No, no, I won't use that cliche term. No vacuum cleaner term for black holes. Yes, let's explain it in a different way. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Black holes are like giant vacuum cleaners in space that sucks in everything, even light. Nothing can escape from its powerful gravity. Not even the fastest particles in the universe. 
but sometimes some of the stuff that gets sucked in by the black hole decides to rebel and escape. It does so by forming a jet, which is like a cosmic sneeze, blasting out energy in a narrow beam. This happens when some of the matter falling into the black hole gets twisted and flung out by the magnetic fields and the spinning motion of the black hole. These jets are so fast and furious that they can zoom across the galaxy and beyond. They're also so bright and flashy that they can outshine billions of stars. But there's a problem. We don't see any of these space fireworks happening in the direction where this particle came from. Either we're missing something, or this sun goddess particle took a shortcut from a space party somewhere else. But hold on, there is another possibility for this particle. Maybe it's a clue to some new physics that we don't know yet. You know the standard model is our very best theory to understand the tiny bits and forces that make up our world, but it has some gaps. It can't explain some big mysteries, like gravity, dark matter or dark energy. So what if the sun goddess particle is something new? something that goes beyond the standard model. What if it is the leftover of a super heavy dark matter particle? A new kind of bit that we have never seen before? Or maybe it's the outcome of some quantum magic in the emptiness of space? A rare and random event that makes a particle out of nothing? Honestly, we don't know. But this particle could be the superhero we've been looking for. The one that can solve the biggest mysteries of physics. Maybe it can unite all the forces of nature, explain how matter came to be, or tell us how the universe started. Perhaps it can show us the hidden secrets of the cosmos, like what's inside a black hole, what's beyond the edge of space, or how the universe will end. We could be on the verge of a scientific revolution, learning how to create new forms of energy, travel faster than light, or change reality itself. But then again, maybe not. This particle could also be a one-off anomaly that has physicists baffled. It could be a tricky mistake in the measurements, a noisy glitch in the data, or the universe's way of messing with us. Maybe it's just a cosmic joke, a lucky fluke, or the universe's way of saying Side! Maybe in the big picture, it's just a huge nothing, and we're wasting our time and resources on chasing a ghost. Well, this is the moment where I usually recommend some of our awesome videos for you to watch next. Not today. Why? Because every single video on the channel is awesome. They're like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But you can be sure that they're all delicious. So why don't you treat yourself and check them out? You deserve it. But before you go, I have a very classic thing to say to you. Are you ready? Here it is. If you enjoyed this video, please show some love by smashing the like button, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our channel with the bell icon. Trust me, it's not rocket science, but it really makes a huge difference for us. Thanks for watching, see you soon with more amazing space videos.